Welcome to this Tutor to You revision video that looks at landforms of deposition, specifically beaches. This is part of Paper 1, Unit C, Coastal Landscapes. Deposition has led to the formation of distinctive coastal beaches. We call these depositional landforms. Beaches are landforms that lie between high and low tide levels. They are formed of sand, shingle or pebbles, or a combination, as well as some mud and silt. They are formed when the sea transports material that has been eroded elsewhere to the shore. There are two distinctive types of beach. The first one are sandy beaches. These tend to form in sheltered areas where the dominant waves are constructive and low energy. So they transport material onto the shore that has been eroded elsewhere. As the waves are constructive, the swash is stronger than the backwash, so material is pushed up the beach and not dragged back into the sea once the waves have broke. On screen you can see a photo of Hokum in North Norfolk, which is famous for its huge sandy beach, which is a mile wide when the tide is out. Well, what are sandy beaches like? Well, constructive waves are dominant, so they have a shallow gradient, which is almost flat and they are very long and wide, meaning that they stretch a long way back. Sandy beaches often have sand dunes at the back of the beach and sometimes pools of water at low tide, which are known as runnels. In addition, the wet sand often looks rippled. In contrast, we have pebble beaches. These tend to form along exposed stretches of coastline where the dominant waves are destructive and high energy. Because the waves are destructive, the backwash is stronger than the swash, so pebbles are not moved far up the beach, resulting in a steep beach profile, which is made worse when the destructive waves plunge back down onto the beach. The beach profile can change significantly in storm conditions when the huge waves hurl boulders and large pebbles to the back of the beach. On the screen you can see a photo of Brighton Beach on the Sussex coast, which is famous for its shingle beach. So what are pebble beaches like? Well they have quite a steep gradient and they often have several ridges to the beach profile. They are usually narrow, meaning that they don't stretch very far back. We've already said that destructive waves are dominant and they often have storm beaches with large pebbles at the back of the beach. And finally, as you move further inland from the sea, the pebbles will get larger. Before we finish, we just need to quickly think about beach profiles. Beach profiles show the gradient from the top of the beach, which is a bit closest to the land, down to the sea. Sandy beaches usually have flat, gentle profiles, whilst pebble beaches tend to have a much steeper profile, often with step ridges. Beaches usually have berms along them. These are terrace steps which have been formed at the back above the high tide level. There may be two, three or even more berms on a wide beach and they all run parallel to each other and are formed under different wave conditions. Berms are formed by constructive waves during calm weather where material is added to the beach. Storms and spring tides can move existing berms up the beach, meaning that a new berm can develop which changes the beach profile. It is important to understand that beach profiles change throughout the year. In autumn and winter, destructive waves will erode the berms and sand dunes at the back of the beach. Some of this material gets dragged out to sea by the strong backwash, which lowers the beach height and also leads to the creation of offshore bars. Damage caused by destructive waves results in a narrower and a steeper beach. In spring and summer, constructive waves will build up the beach, replacing some of the material that was removed over winter. This is more effective if groins are in place to trap sediment. Material is transported from the offshore bar to rebuild the berms and the wind builds up the sand dunes aided by saltation. That concludes this Tutor to You revision video focusing on landforms of deposition, specifically beaches. Thank you for watching.